Let me explain about uh, traffic signal controller using a Verilog programming. Here you can see a highway intersected by the country road. The program is so designed that by default the main highway traffic will have green signal by default. Only when the vehicle arrive in the country road and line up, then a sensor will detect the status and intimate to the system. So in which case, as you can see, x equal to 0 by default, then the state machine says it is in the initial status or a 0 state. In which case, highway will have green and side road will have red. That means there is no movement in the country road. Only the highway has got the green. When X becomes 1, that means when sensor detects vehicle arriving in the side road, then the state changes from S0 to S1. That means highway will change from green to yellow. That is the vehicle movement will be alerted or has to stay. Then country road movement will still remain red because it is not yet clear for them. Then S1 to S2 state will change that is highway will change from yellow to red to make the vehicle stop in the highway. But country road movement will still be red because we want the highway traffic to completely stop. Then S2 to S3 will happen if the x equal to 1 is the case, then S2 to S3 will change. That is, highway will remain red, whereas now the country road turns to green, so that movement will be allowed in the countryside or the side road. If x equal to 1, then the same status is still maintained. That means, side road will continue to have green, so that side road or the country road will allow the traffic to move. Then, when x equal to 0, that means, the sensor now finds out there are no vehicles in the side road. Then S3 to S4, the change will take place. That is, highway will remain red, but country road will change from green to yellow. Then S4 to S0 will change. Then highway will turn from red to green, whereas country road now turns to red. That means it goes to the initial state. So that is how the changing pattern is uh, designed in this program. Let us go to the next one. That is, I'll take up this page. Now we are entering the program part of Verilog. So normally, any higher level language program will start uh, with uh, define statements, is it not? Define or include. So, here we have started with define. Tick define will be used instead of as in this very long. So, true is defined as bit 1 and false is uh, defined as bit 0 and white to red, that means yellow to red delay is given as uh, 3 units of time and red to green delay is given two units of time. So that is how some constant values are defined here. Now we are entering the module part. Module part will give the external interface signal of the uh, signal control unit. That is output will have two bits of highway and two bits of country road. That means highway will have uh, status that is red or green or yellow. Likewise, country will also have uh, red, green, yellow. So, four states are uh, provided as the output from the signal controller. Then input will have three signals, that is X from the sensor. If X equal to zero, there are no uh, vehicles in the side road. If X equal to one, only then it is found out the vehicle movement or the uh, lineup in the side roads. Then clock is used as an, one of the input to find the value of the delay time. Then clear can uh, reset the entire system. If clear is 0, then it goes to next state. 
or if clear is one then it goes to the default state or uh, yes not now coming to the parameter here as you can see parameter are defining the colors here red for two bits of zeros yellow for two bits of zero one and green for two bits of one zero so parameter is the keyword which will define the various colors with the binary bits of two bits each then another parameter is used here here in uh, five states are uh, declared uh, using parameter keyword once again if it is 0 0 0 because it is three bits if it is 0 0 0 then it again indicates the state of highway being green and uh, country being red this is the default or the beginning state if it is 0 0 1 then the highway is yellow country is red like that different color positions of uh, the traffic states are provided through parameter of three bits each here so let us go to the next page I'll take the page number three so here there are two states uh, allowed that is present state or the next state so here we have used uh, three bits to represent various states either present state or the next state is uh, shown by the uh, three bits here now let us go to the always always is a block where there is going to be a set of statements which are going to be sequential in nature here at the represents the always block presently will be taken up when there is a positive edge of the clock so at represents that whatever is the uh, list or the signals that are there within the bracket when change occurs or the event occurs the present always block is entered here in the always block we have got if clear is one then the state will be the default state otherwise state will be the next state that means change from default state to the subsequent state will happen by the application of clock so that is what this clock always block will do now let us go to the next uh, always here now with uh, respect to the state will enter this always block so if it is uh, in the beginning highway will be green and country side will be red this is the default state in the state position likewise different cases of state and let us take it up now the first state will be yes not that is default state that is highway is green and country is red then s1 will be highway yellow and s2 will be highway red that means once s0 changes to s1 highway changes from green to yellow it won't uh, abruptly changes from green to red but it changes to s1 where highway turns yellow then changes to s2 only then highway changes to red so s0 s1 s2 will change the highway from green to yellow then to red now coming to the s3 now S3 has got uh, more than one statement so we have got begin and end here so S3 is when highway still is red now country will turn green so that highway will stop its uh, movement of uh, vehicle country will start its uh, movement of the vehicles then last state that is S4 highway is still red but country now turns yellow asking the country traffic movement to stand by or you are entering to now about to stop so that uh, we have got S0, S1, S2 where highway turns to yellow and to red and in S3 highway is red and the uh, countryside movement has got the permission to move with green then S4 now countryside is about to stop so country is yellow and highway is still red so this representation of different states are done through this always block 
let us go to the last page here so this is the last page where another always block is taken up here this always block is entered when there is a change in state or if there is a change in the value of x okay so always begins here with the case state we are taking different states so suppose we are in state yes that is default state if x equal to 1 only then it is going to change to s1 so if x equal to 1 default uh, state will that is the present state or the state will go to the next state otherwise the next state will be the same state that means only when x equal to 1 s0 changes to s1 otherwise s0 remains as it is in s1 we are changing the yellow to red delay with the positive edge of the clock that is s1 changes to s2 that is uh, yellow to red will take place in the highway because here highway entered yellow here yellow to red will take place after an amount of delay by the application of clock s1 changes to s2 so s1 automatically changes to s2 by the application of clock after an amount of delay now if we are in uh, uh, s2 condition if we are in s2 condition we are now changing to s3 or uh, that is red to green will take place with respect to the uh, with respect to the side road now side road will change its uh, color from red to green after a an amount of delay that is when the clock occurs now the uh, side road will change from red to green then the next state will be s3 now if x equal to 1 it remains in s3 that means if x is equal to 1 in the in the sense we still want movement in the side road so s3 is the state which allows the movement of the traffic in the side road so it remains in s3 otherwise it goes to s4 it goes to s4 in the sense the side road will find its yellow but highway will be still red then in s4 we are going to have yellow to red delay that is side road will change from yellow to red on the event of positive edge of the clock so now it enters from s4 to s0 so that it enters the default state or the initial state where highway will be again green side road will become red so now you end s4 here then default next state will be s0 if uh, here if x is x is not uh, one then it will be the default state that means uh, if the case if the case statement is not s1 s0 etc default case will be s0 case only here end case because the case statements have begun here the case is going to end here this end is for the end of the always and finally there is an end module which will end the entire module description of the traffic controller. Thank you so much.